Hey everyone, how's it going? So for today's fun Godzilla vs. Kong video, I want to start off the week with a second drawing and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Kong. And this is going to be a scene from the movie where Kong is actually standing there kind of holding up his axe, raising it, getting ready to roar. So I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. Now, to start off with this Kong pose, we're going to be in right about here, because we're not going to be drawing his whole body, just about half of it. So we're going to start right here with his face. So I'm going to begin right here, and I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to go down. I'm going to curve up and down like this. Then I'm going to start over here. We're going to make a little line that's going to go down. We're going to curve up and down like this. Starting here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to go down and up. And then we're going to make another one that's going to go down and up like this. Next, I'm going to bring this line down. I'm going to curve it around. And we'll bring this one down. We're going to curve it around. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go up. It's going to come down. And we'll make another one that's going to go down. And it's going to go back down, up and down like this. We'll make a little line that's going to curve here, and another little line that's going to curve right here. Next, starting here, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to come down here. And I'm going to make one that's going to come down here. Then I'm going to continue this line, I'm going to bring it down here, and we're going to bring this one down here. Starting here, we're going to draw a little line that's going to come down, we're going to go down, we're going to come over, and then back up like this. Next, I'm going to draw a little line that goes up and down on each side with a couple little bumps in here. Then I'm going to make a little line that's going to go down, we're going to put a couple bumps in here, another little line that goes up and down, or down and up. Starting here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to go down, it's going to come around. And we'll do the same thing, we're going to go out and we're going to bring it in like this. I'm going to make a little line that's going to go out and then in, another one's going to go out and then in, we're going to bring it right here to the, uh, to the mouth area. I'm going to make a line that's going to come out and down on each side with a little line that goes across. And we're gonna make, I'm going to start here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to go down. It's going to be kind of zigzag and it's going to come up to kind of form his beard. Starting here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to go out and then it's going to come up for the side of his face. Then I'm going to make, leave some space, I'm going to make like a zigzag line that's going to go up and then it's going to curve right up here. I'm going to bring this right around here, and then I'm just going to make it come right to a little bit of a point, and then it's going to come back down here. Then over here, we're going to draw a little line. It's going to go down and up for the ear, and we'll draw a little line over here for the ear. Then starting over here, we're going to make a little line. It's going to come down just a little bit for his neck. I'm going to draw a little line that's going to curve right out here for his shoulder. Right over here we're going to draw a little line that's going to go down. And it's going to curve up like this for his chest. And we're going to start by drawing a little line that's going to go down. And then it's going to curve right around here over for his chest. Make a line that's going to go down and then up. Another one's going to come down and then it's going to go up like this. Make another one right here, does the same thing, and then one more here. Starting here, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to curve down. I'm going to make a little line that's going to come up here. I'm going to make a little line that's going to go right up here. Kind of curves again. And then I'm going to make another one that's going to come right up here. Then I'm going to draw a line that's going to come out, and we're going to bring it right up here. Then 
Then starting here, I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna go down. It's going to curve around and then it's gonna come back to here. Starting here, we'll add a little curved line. I'm gonna make a line that's gonna go around and then it's gonna come down to here. Make another one right around here. Make one that's gonna come over here and then one more, it's just gonna go down and over. Next, starting here, I'm gonna draw a little line that's gonna go up and another one that's gonna go up here. And then we're gonna make a little line that's gonna come right down towards the edge of our paper and then one here and I'm just gonna curve it around. Now I'm gonna make a little line that's gonna come right down here for the hand. I'm gonna make a little line that's gonna come right up here to the top and then another one's gonna come right here to the top. I want to make a little line that's going to go down. We're just going to make this kind of jagged so it looks like kind of Kong's like axe or like a Godzilla spike. Then we're going to make a little smaller one that's going to go, come up here. Next, I'm going to just connect this line down. Then right here, I'm just going to bring this line out to here. Then I'm going to bring it right down to here. Next over here, we're gonna draw a line that goes down, and then we're going to bring a line that comes right down to here. Then starting here, I'm gonna draw a line that goes down and then out. And we're just gonna kinda of add a couple little lines coming down, a little line down here. Another little line there. Okay, now we just wanna come in here and add some of the different little details. So I'm just gonna add a quick little line right around here and then a couple little lines right around his mouth. I'm gonna add a couple lines right around his eyes and a couple little curved lines by his nose. We'll add a couple more little lines by his face. And then a couple little lines right above his eyes. Inside here we'll make lines gonna go down and around and a little line down for his tongue. We'll add a little curved line back here for his mouth. And then I'm just gonna add some quick little lines on each side just for a little bit of fur and texture. We're gonna add some little curved lines right around his chest here. We're gonna add a few more kind of curved, quick little lines on his arms. Nothing too crazy just because we're gonna do a lot of this with the coloring. Maybe add some right around his face too. Next on the axe, I'm just going to add some kind of long broken lines. They're just gonna come across here. And we're just gonna add some kind of long little lines right around here for some of those little textures and details on there. I'm gonna add two little dots in here for pupils. And then we're just going to add just some kind of long broken lines right in here. And there you go, there is your drawing of Kong holding up his axe. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed.